Hey everybody, this is Tony D here in beautiful Hawaii. Today, I got something special here. I'm taking a little video here of me making homemade lao lao. Right now, right over here, we got the taro leaves, which I've already washed. We've got the pork, it's already been marinated with salt and liquid salt. Please right there. Liquid smoke, salt, all mixed in with the meat to make homemade lao lao. That's what's right here. Taro leaves. This comes from Kalo, what we call taro. What I'm going to do right now, since I've already marinated the meat, here we go. And I'm going to put the leaves together here. And once it's all done, I'm going to steam it right here in this crock pot. And this is how I do it. Once you have all the meat in the leaves like this, bring the ends together like this, like that. Bring both sides over just like this. Then you carefully bring the middle together and roll it so it looks just like this. <laughs> then the next thing I gotta do is once I roll this into a log, I'm gonna carefully tie it with string to hold it into place. Once I tie it with string, it holds the log into place just like this. Next thing I'm going to do, once I put it like this, I'm going to put it into the crock pot and I'm going to steam it for a few hours so it's nice and soft like spinach. Let me turn this right here so you can see. Once I put it in the crock pot, I'm going to fill it with water. Now, 
some people like to cut this part. What it is, is you take a knife, very carefully take a knife and cut the veins out. The reason why some people cut the veins out is because with taro, the chemical in here sometimes make your throat itchy. So sometimes we like to cut in here. How we do this is very carefully. We take a little knife like this and we cut into the vein. Just like this. We cut into the vein. and slowly remove the little string that's in there by throwing that off. Or you can just cut it just like this. Just remove that little string as they call it. Bye.